Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Rightway Options, and this is the Morning Market Prep video for August 20th, 2024. Well, I hope everyone had a good rest last night, ready for another wild and crazy day in the market. We're kind of in a hurry up and wait mode, but um, relentless bullishness pushing us up in parabolic moves of the market. So um, let's take a look at what happened overnight. First off, um, Asian markets um, mostly higher last night. Um, Australia, Nikkei, and South Korea higher with Hong Kong lower and Shanghai uh, lower. Shanghai fell by 0.93% and Hong Kong was down was 0.33%. But the Nikkei was the big winner of the day again, surging um, dramatically up 1.80%. If we take a look at European markets um, last night, by the way, I should say, um, let you know that China um, held their benchmark rates um, uh, the same, and they have a big surge in unemployment in the youth, which is now running um, about 17%. So big increase there. If we take a look at European markets this morning, well, European markets are mostly lower and um, relatively flat. Um, we have the DAX down um, just 0.8%. The FTSE, however, is down 0.69% uh, and the CAC is up 0.909%. Uh, so um, just a little bit of mix. Um, Sweden uh, did cut their rates uh, by 25 basis points and is signaling that there may be likely more to come this year. If we take a look at um, U.S. markets were pretty flat this morning. NASDAQ is doing the best up 0.14%. Uh, the S&P 500 is flat only up $5.25 and the Dow is just slightly lower this morning. If we take a look at um, our oil sector, boy, oil had a tough time yesterday uh, moving lower. What was interesting is oil producers, oil stocks moved up, and that was really a major function of the falling dollar yesterday. The f dollar just dropped like a rock yesterday. Um, I don't uh, know exactly how it's going to uh, move this morning, but I'm expecting a bit of a gap up here on the US dollar, but boy, just really falling out of bed here on the value of the dollar. So that had um, uh, impacts in, uh, well, all commodities. Um, some of them reacted negatively like um, oil did, which was kind of surprising, but oil is reacting to stories of major supply concerns. Um, as um, well, we have um, China slowing dramatically. If those, if those numbers um, on e uh, youth unemployment um, um, doesn't signal that, we're seeing that in um, lower production uh, numbers and lower GDP numbers out of China. So we'll have to keep an eye on that. But that being said, this morning, oil is flat. Um, we've got um, oil futures flat. Brent crude is um, up a whopping 17 cents at 77.87 a barrel. And natural gas had a really good upside day yesterday holding in there on some support and um, it is just a tiny bit lower here this morning. If we take a look at precious metals, precious metals continue to move pretty substantially. Gold this morning, if we take a look here, gold is up $19.20 an ounce in the futures this morning, pushing up and um, a new record highs uh, could be set here in the morning if that holds. On gold, we are now at $2,560 an ounce here on gold. Silver is also uh, moving sharply higher here um, after following through yesterday, pushing to the upside on that 
uh, weakening dollar. And remember, anytime we expect or we believe that there are rate cuts c uh, coming, when we cut rates, the value of the dollar diminishes. And um, so keep an eye on that. Now, we also are seeing um, upside moves in copper, platinum, and palladium. Uh, this morning, take a look at that palladium chart, possible inverted head and shoulders pattern showing up on that. So watch that carefully here in palladium. Now, crypto had a really rough day yesterday, um, struggling in there, but this morning it is up sharply. And I'm guessing that's the weakness of the dollar helping that as well. Up $1,791 a coin here this morning and back above 60,000 um, on Bitcoin. Um, Ether is also up 1.91%. Um, there is, however, still a little bit of a mix with Litecoin a little bit lower here today. So if we were to take a look at bonds this morning, our bonds, um, well, kind of hanging in there. The two-year bond is at 4.06. The 10-year uh, bond is at 3.88. And the 30-year bond is at 4.14. So still an inversion, um, still kind of floating around those areas with that uncertainty about what U.S. rates may be. We're looking for clues on that um, later in the week today from the Jackson Hole Symposium. Let's take a look at, um, well, actually, I think we've covered um, everything I wanted to cover. So how about we settle in? Let's buckle up. Let's get ready for the Tuesday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. Good morning once again, everyone, and thank you so much for being here. I do very much appreciate it. How about we take a look at these charts and see if we can gain some information about how we want to approach the market for today. And remember, we want to shake off that bias and really look at the charts for what they are, not for what we want them to be. Well, as we start out the day, S&P 500 and the QQQ have had the biggest streak winning streak since 2024. And unfortunately, um, the chase that's going on here, we're almost parabolic um, in these rallies. Um, we've got to be a little bit careful of that, but there's no reason here in the chart to believe that they can't continue to push higher here because we've got no hints of a potential failure yet, just a, a strong extension as we push up to see if we can test that resistance level right here, that big black candle that kind of started this tumble to the downside. So keep an eye on that. If I were to draw a downside trend in here, notice that we're just trying to sneak out from underneath that this morning, trying to push that up here. So watch carefully. We've got back above this uh, trend line here as well. So if we can continue that push, breaking through this resistance, of course, would be um, a pretty important move. And after that, we're looking to retest the highs here in the diamonds above that, of course, blue sky above um, in the diamonds chart. If we take a look at the bearish side of this, if the bears were to come in, well, it's not too hard to see a pullback here could come back and retest that trend support level in the chart. Certainly seems likely. If we were to push down beyond that, I would start looking through these levels right in here. And then, of course, that potential gap below if we were to really get some kind of a pullback coming in the market. Um, I will say that I believe it would be very healthy um, for the market to take a break, to get a rest, uh, get um, some consolidation going in. These straight up moves tend to create some really painful pullbacks when they do pull back. So uh, be careful of that. And remember, as we stretch, um, this, this rally is getting pretty long in the tooth. And if, um, if it does uh, come to pass that we pull back, if there's bearish reason for them to engage, the moves could be pretty painful. So make sure you're tightening up those stop losses. Make sure you're planning carefully and not chasing stocks to the upside. If we take a look at our SPY 
SPY, also extremely bullish. Just um, again, a longest run um, so far in 2024. Uh, very parabolic in the move. If the bulls can continue, however, to find that inspiration in the chart, I'm just going to move this right up here. You can see if we break through this area, well, there's a high probability that we could move on up and fill this gap in the chart. If we can move on through and fill that gap, then every reason to believe we're up here re-attacking the highs. And remember, we'll be coming into kind of a double top high situation right here. So watch that carefully. Beyond that point, it's blue sky above. If we take a look at the bearish uh, potential in this, a pullback in here, well, you can see there's a little bit of support right over here that we might grab onto if we were to pull back kind of halfway through yesterday's candle. Pulling back into here and then pulling back to this support doesn't seem to be all that unlikely here in the market after such an extreme move to the upside. Beyond that, it starts to maybe add a little bit of stress and then we would potentially come into this big open gap um, to the downside. Now, keeping in mind, bring coming back down into here filling that gap would be nothing more than a test of the 50-day moving average and um, again i think that would be relatively healthy to get some kind of a consolidation or rest um, because it's um, adding an awful lot of risk for a potential pullback if it does begin if we take a look at the qqq qqq also a biggest re um, run for 2024 to the upside uh, pushing up here toward this next resistance level in the chart we'll want to keep an eye on that if we break through up here into this at the same time we will be um, extending away from that 50-day moving average here in the QQQ so watch that carefully if we can push on up and if we can break through here then the next level above is going to be up here trying to fill that gap here in the chart. Beyond that point, probably right through here and then all time highs being tested in the queues. If the bears were to find inspiration here today, then pulling back, you can see there might be a little tiny bit of support right in here pulling back and then maybe coming into this support level of the chart would be a likely holding area. Beyond that, we start breaking this down just a little tiny bit um, until we could potentially slip into this gap. Now, please keep in mind, if we just pull back into here, into this area, we're just testing the 50-day moving average. And again, I think that would be a healthy move, not saying that's what's going to happen, but it would be healthy for the market to rest. If we take a look at our um, our, VIT, our IWM, IWM also extending back up after breaking through this substantial resistance area. We're trying to squeeze up in here, see if we can test the resistance of that big black candle that started this whole um, selling and if we can break through there then I would suggest coming up into here if we can break through this level here I'm going to suggest up into here and then we're right back up here testing these potential highs in the um, also very parabolic in the, its move here and really stretching away from its 50-day moving average so don't be too surprised if we come back for a test of that 50-day if we take a look at our VIX our VIX continuing it, it popped up a little bit there yesterday but continuing to pull back we're at 14, um, about 14 and a half handles here on the VIX. So much calmer in the VIX where we seem to have an awful lot of confidence um, right now. So watch that carefully. If we can continue to pull this back, well, you can see we can come right back down in here and we're quickly going to be testing some of these recent lows in the VIX. We went from all kinds of fear to no fear at all, all of a sudden. So watch that carefully just to, just as much as we went from not much fear to lots of fear um, here in the market so watch that carefully as that continues to pull back and every reason to believe it could if the bears however were to find some inspiration a little pop up into here would not all be that much um, of a concern you can see there's that big trend that we had broken here so we're back down below that but a pop up there 
to maybe test the underneath side of that trend. Um, perhaps a little bit higher to push right up here to test this area resistance. That would raise a little bit of concern in a pullback, but probably wouldn't be all that damaging as long as we can hold those support levels in the chart. And then if we take a look at our um, T20s, our T21, 22 indicator, well, yesterday all day long, we were up here in the bearish reversal zone. Um, we pushed up nearly to max out point um, at the open yesterday. And although we slipped for a little bit, um, the majority of the day, we were um, stretched here into that bearish reversal zone. And we could see the lack of, of um, energy, I would say, from retail commercial side of things because we um, saw very low volumes in the market yesterday. That uncertainty as we continue to stretch to the upside, the majority of it, I believe, was corporate buyback um, activity still pushing in there uh, to the upside. So if the bulls find inspiration today, you'll notice we, we don't have much room. We cannot, you will not go above 100%. Uh, the way this is calculated in the chart. So you can see from T2122, we are in a very extended condition. Now we can linger up here and we've got many um, um, uh, times that we can linger in this area, but there has never been a time, not once in the history of T2122, when we are up here that we didn't start coming back down. So that's why I'm suggesting if you're long the market, make sure you're tightening up those stops, maybe even start taking some profits um, early just before um, we might catch a little bit of profit taking pullback. And that doesn't mean collapsing. That means a little bit of rest in the market. Watch that carefully here in the chart because we certainly have a big opportunity if the bears decide to engage. If we take a look at our uh, T2108, T2108 bulls are still in control. Very, very strong move here to the upside, um, pushing into some resistance levels in the chart. So no particular worries there. They're clearly in control with 56, um, almost 56 and a half percent of the stocks above their 40 day moving average. If the bears, however, were to find some inspiration, well, I don't think it'd be a major worry uh, because we've got some good support levels in, in here to watch. And anything that we hold above 50% um, remains pretty strong for the bulls. If we take a look at our T2107, same thing is true. Big stretch here to the upside. We're at 56% coming into some resistance areas in the chart. But if the bears were to find reason to push back or a little profit taking wave come into, into the market, anything down in here, we've got some good support levels that still hold us above that 50% level in um, T2107. In T2101, you can see there was that breadth increase yesterday here in that move, which is interesting. That breadth was increasing while we saw uh, volumes in the market. If we take a look at QQQ, uh, volume um, extremely low in these indexes um, yesterday. Um, again, it was, I think, more corporate buyback than it was a retail buyers buying anything or even uh, corporate institutions buying um, just, um, and, you know, not the big banks and things like that. I think it was mostly just corporate buyback activity going on in the market. If, how about we take a look at our um, um, economic calendar here for today. And our economic calendar, we've got a few things that we want to be paying attention to. And most of those things that we want to be paying attention to are later on this week. Um, uh, taking a look here at the uh, Tuesday calendar, as you can see, we've got a Treasury buyback announcement coming in where they're going to uh, dump a bunch more money um, into the Treasury market. Um, we've got um, um, a bond announcements and then Fed speak here this afternoon. So keep an eye on that. Um, as we look forward, remember on Wednesday, we've got our normal mortgage applications, Atlanta Fed business inflation expectations number, 
quarterly services survey. We're going to have our normal petroleum status in there, bond auctions, and then of course the FOMC. And it's fairly common that the market gets a little bit light and choppy as we wait for those FOMC minutes. So don't be too surprised if we again see a little bit of choppiness, maybe even a little bit of profit taking coming into play as we head toward those numbers. So keep an eye on that. Um, let's take a look at um, our um, earnings calendar here for today and our earnings calendar we have ramped up in uh, th we're ramping up for the for the bigger numbers this week um, so we've got a few more today than we had yesterday but I can easily cover them this morning we've got um, AS reporting here this morning pushing up these are the notables we've got KC that we'll be reporting today. Um, we're going to hear from Lowe's, probably one of the most notable of the day. Um, keep an eye on that. Um, Medtronic, um, MDT reporting today. Um, breaking through this downtrend in here, um, we may talk about that in just a little bit. Um, PINC, um, looks like we're having a little bit of trouble with that one this morning. And VIPS um, also experiencing after reporting um, this afternoon after the bell we're going to be hearing from uh, cotty keep an eye on that keys will be reporting um, lazy boy will be in there this afternoon toll brothers and zto will be reporting this afternoon as those notables so keep an eye on that so with that how about we take a look at some stocks that could be setting up for today but before we do that everyone if this is the first time you've seen these videos if you could please click that subscribe button on youtube also click that bell icon when it pops up so you'll be notified every time i post a video and if you find these videos to be useful or helpful if you can do me that favor that would be click that thumbs up button and leave a brief comment that helps the channel to continue to grow and thank you so much for everyone who does take the time to do that I truly truly appreciate it let's take a look at um, some of these stocks that may be setting up and remember everyone these are not recommendations to buy or sell any security you need to do your own due diligence be very very careful in this market once again we have extended um, this rally to the upside substantially so it might be wise to be tightening those stops up uh, possibly even taking some profits in the market uh, for that potential rest or pullback that could occur at any time. Let's take a look here. Uh, first off, Spotify. Uh, as you guys know, I mentioned Spotify here yesterday um, in the uh, morning prep, and you can see this nice little consolidating move in here did finally fire off and pop yesterday looking really good there on spotify if that can continue i would watch for that uh, to extend on higher um, here in the chart and looking good there on spotify keep a close eye on that um, take a look at uh, mcdonald's mcdonald's continued to extend yesterday after alerting here in the chart looking very very good here overall our trend might be getting a little bit on the parabolic steep side here so i would not be chasing it here at this point but a rest or pullback in that chart um, I would be interested in taking a look at that. So keep a, keep an eye on uh, Mickey D's. Um, also, this alert here uh, that I placed on IBM did its job, and we're pushing on up, although somewhat much more modestly, as we push up here toward that resistance. So keep an eye on that. As you guys know, I've been kind of keeping an eye on TAP, and although it kind of wandered around here, it is starting to pick back up here. This is a defensive sector stock, and we're seeing a lot of those defensive sector stocks 
hold up pretty nicely. Not really getting a big fire in their belly to run to the upside, but they're not losing anything either. Um, as um, there's a still seems to be a pretty substantial amount of the market going into the more defensive conservative type stocks. So keep an eye on TAP, uh, keep an eye on um, Altria here, Mo still looking very, very good, Philip Morris showing lots of strength. If we take a look at Schmuckers, there's been some volatility in here, but it's holding up overall pretty well. We can see stocks like um, Hershey. Hershey fell all apart here trying to hold that upside trend and this now potentially sets up for a possible lower high and even a short there on Hershey. So keep an eye on that. So some of the defensive sector stocks weakening up a bit but if you take a look at things like Mondelez holding in there nice and strong, PepsiCo um, holding in there nice. So some pretty good moves um, showing up in there. And then of course the Mac Daddy of them all, which is remarkable is the way Colgate has just continued to run and is also setting up with a nice tight consolidation right in here. And I would look for that next opportunity for that to pop. How about Clorox? Clorox had a really good day yesterday, uh, zooming up to the next resistance. I don't know that I would chase that in fact, I know that I wouldn't chase that. Any rest or pullback, however, might be an opportunity in that chart. So we're still seeing a lot of that going on. We're still seeing utilities holding in there very, very strong. And you can drop into that utility sector and you're going to see lots of potential charts that are setting up, charts that are ready to move. Um, I have charts that are already moving to the upside. So keep an eye on um, those. There's quite a few in that utility sector. And again, one of the reasons people go to utilities is for the safety and that possibility of uh, a nice dividend yields on those trades. Take a look, um, um, oh, I had mentioned uh, Medtronic um, here this morning um, reporting earnings. I would keep an eye on how this reacts out of that earnings report. This is a nice little stretch up here and breaking through this downtrend. So when we break a downtrend like that, you don't wanna chase this move because the possibility is that we can whipsaw and come all the way back. However, this breakthrough here is important. If we were to rest or consolidate in here, some kind of higher low gets placed somewhere along this trend. I would be looking for that next opportunity for Medtronic and getting past earnings. You can see we've got some upside potential. If we can break out of this bottom here, could be some really good upside potential breaking through up there. So keep an eye on that. Um, I would also be keeping a close eye on some of these stocks coming up out of other bottoms like PayPal. PayPal trying to break through this big um, bottoming pattern in here in the chart. It's been extremely choppy and very, very volatile. But if we can pop through up here, now the test is to hold. If we can hold up above here, then I'd be looking for some upside opportunity and maybe even that potential of some longer term um, upside potential in those charts. So keep an eye on things like PayPal. SQ might be another one of those trying to break through up here. You can see a nice little stretch breaking through some resistance in the chart. Now any rest or pullback could set up that opportunity in the chart. And for most of you um, watching on YouTube that have never attended one of my classes or anything on trading, it's that's the pattern I always look for in the market because until we get that hold of support, just like we saw here where we stretched up and then we fell all the way back down, I need that hold of support up here to show me that we are ready to resume an upside trend. 
And that's what I'm looking for most of the time in the market. I don't look for the big white candles or the stocks that have already moved. I'm looking for patterns setting up so I can get those lower risk entries in the charts. And if you guys would like some help with that, remember um, you can get a, a trial membership for RWO, um, the, the right way options uh, trading um, for 49 bucks for a full month. So if I can be of help to you in your trading, please think about coming over and taking a look at us over there at Right Way Options and I'd love to have you. So beyond that, guys, there are still lots of charts out here setting up uh, all over the place. I'm kind of liking the way AKAM is setting up here. Um, got past its earnings. Notice we've got this kind of cup and handle pattern that showed up in here. And now we're pressing and we're banging our head against this resistance here in the chart. I'd watch for that opportunity that that might pop out of there. Keep a close eye on that on AKAM. Um, remember, it's still got that upside move up there to the 200 day possible in the chart so watch that closely so there's quite a few stocks for you to look at um, video is running a little bit long thank you so much for being here today i do truly appreciate it uh, thank you ever to everyone who shares these videos out on your social media feed that means the world to me and the kind and the kind support that um, you do by um, you know, just clicking that thumbs up button and leaving a brief comment helps a lot. Thank you, everyone. Have an awesome day. I'll see you right back here bright and early Wednesday morning. And as always, I wish you all the very, very best. Take care.